2016 is upon us. Some of you guys don't even understand the reality of what's at stake. It's a new dimension, it's a new year, but if you don't want this year to be like the same other new years you've said in the past, yeah, it's gonna be my year, God has held these things for me, yeah, I believe. It's good to believe. But did you pray, did you plan, and did you report for work? You know, one of the biggest problems facing the Christian faith today, especially in the Western world, is many people have been receiving Christ in their heart, believed in Him, even attended church. But they never reported for work. What does that mean? You never reported for work. It's one thing to be employed. Most that God wants to do to you is to have you deployed. What do I mean? Most of you guys don't understand that leaving for Christ, there's a commandment that he asked us to do. There's something he actually wants us to do more than just believing in him and just coming to church and just being nice to people. He wants us to preach his gospel, the advancement of the kingdom of God are depending on these people. The investment of the kingdom of God is depending on you and me. We have to be deployed. 2016 is going to come. Make it a year where you intentionally, intentionally, with purpose, move the kingdom of God forward. Yeah, you prayed for it to be a good year. We talked about planning. Watch that video on that. You plan, you wrote your plans down. You have an idea of the goals and the things you have to achieve. Now it's time to report for work. Now it's time to actually get things done. Now it's time to actually be unashamed about what you believe. Stop quoting verses to yourself in front of the mirror or just your kids or just your husband and wife. Just stop being Christian to the same family of believers. You've been going to the same church for 20 years but none of your colleague knows about it. You've been going to the same church for 40 years. You are in your 60s and your 70s. No disrespect to you. I'm a young person. I understand. But who have you brought to Christ? You're going to die just being average? And you think that actually... Where is the devil? No, it doesn't. I know this may sound harsh to you, but it doesn't. The devil doesn't care for the fact that you are just an average, mediocre Christian and your life is difficult. Why? Because you're not living out your purpose. There's actually something. You know, one of the biggest things that sometime when I was in school that I understood now, I completely understand that when I live my life for Christ. If you do something good, but it's not what it was asked, you still fail. You know, in class, there's some classes in college or university that you can go to. You barely attend the class. The classes are most, the weight of the class is, rate is depending on a paper or on the end of the year project you have to do. It's like 80% of your grade or 90% of your grade, right? So some of those classes, you may not show up 90% of those classes. You may not show up. But at the last, the last week or the, the last two, three weeks, you show up. You find out what the assignment is. You write a paper, nice paper. I heard of a story of a gentleman, he came the last week before finals, he, he, he came and saw the assignment that was due, he went over there, wrote a paper, a nice paper, it was long, well typed, he turned it to the professor, and then the professor looked at it, graded it, he got his grade a couple weeks later, and on it it said, great paper, well thought out answer, well constructed, well researched, and then it said F circled, F circled. And on the bottom it said, but this was not the assignment. Some of you guys think that your assignment is just to sing nice in church, being part of the choir, where at least I'm a pastor's kid, at least I come to do this. That's not the assignment. You're going to do a great job and still fail. Why? Because you're not accomplishing the assignment. If you navigate deployed in your Christian life, you're failing. If you don't live for the purpose of the Great Commission, you're failing. If you don't live out the purpose of God, feel with the Holy Spirit, walking down the fire of what God has promised for you, you're failing. So I don't want 2016 to be like any other year. I want you to succeed this year. I want you to actually have tremendous victory in this year. Stop failing. Start succeeding. Accomplish the assignment. Be like Paul and said that you poured out all of your life, all that God has put in you, you gave to the world. That you can be, say like Paul, that I've been like a, a cup that's been poured out. That there's nothing left for me to do that I've accomplished my task. Each one of us, we don't, none of us have the same purpose. But we have the same assignment. The way we, are, we accomplish that assignment may be different, but we must accomplish the assignment. 
That's my word for you today. I don't know how to scream it, to say it to you. But the reality is I'm just tired of the same old people who believe that Christianity is just going to be a mere understanding of being nice and going to church and being uh, just a, somebody of good morals. It's more than that. To those who are around you, do they know that you believe in a God who gives life, a God who, has, who can heal cancer, or the God who can provide for those who are hurting? Are you an accurate representation of Jesus? That's my question to you. Grace and peace to you. Remember, you're God's very best. So start acting like it.